Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most exciting products that's come out of Victorinox in a long time. And it's not necessarily that they've done a, a drastic makeover of their multi-tool. It's the fact that they've added a feature in that has long been missing from the Victorinox line, and that is a one-handed knife blade. Now, this particular version is called the Victorinox MX Clip because it comes with the clip. The actual uh, multi-tool itself is called the Victorinox MX. The great thing about the clip is that you can buy the clip that will work for other models of Victorinox Swiss Tool Spirit models. So uh, this is one of the most fantastic things that they did. It's not that they came up with a design that was specific to the newest model, but rather they made a clip that was adaptable that can be uh, used on all their previous spirit models. And I think that's a great thing that Victorinox did. So first of all, you can see that in that clip, they have pressed or have a little indention uh, as well as the threaded hole where the screw will set in there. Then that clip will set along the front face. It captures at the top here. And while there's a little bit of movement because there's only a single uh, point that it grabs, the indention there keeps it from any side movement. It's matched perfectly for the slot for the, uh, uh, the corkscrew. And by adding that little bent piece, it keeps it tight against the frame, and then you have the clip. So there is a little bit of movement, but it is pretty solid. And the great thing about this, again, is the fact that you can use this on previous models. I especially appreciate that from Victorinox. Now, you'll notice that for right-handed people, this is actually orientated incorrectly. I think they did that because as it sits in the package, the... the uh, Tang here on the knife blade that's going to hold a, or that allows you to one hand open this sits a little higher than the frame itself. And we'll set that beside there, and you can kind of see that it rises up just a little bit there. So, for packaging purposes, I think they put this in the package so that it could sit flat on one surface, and then all the race portions will be up the clip and the and the catch here. Now, this is very easy to change out. You can. Uh, undo this screw just got to open this up of course with the mx clip they don't send the tool along to do that so you'd have to have the allen head i believe it is to remove that and then replace it to the other side so that it will be in the proper orientation well let's get into the victorinox spirit mx clip show you everything that it comes with and then we're going to talk a little bit about how this just made leaps and bounds in competing with the leatherman wave now, one thing that I've always appreciated about the Victorinox models, be that their Swiss tool or their spirit models, is that all of the tools are accessible from the outside. So the first thing that we're going to look at is the knife blade. Now, the grind profile on here is a little bit different than that of their standard uh, Swiss tool spirit model. So like the most popular would be the Swiss tool spirit X. So the the grind doesn't go quite as far back because of the fact that they have to contend with this bent piece and so getting that uh, ground just like the other knife they couldn't quite do it but they do a really nice job of on the grind profile of this knife and victorinox steels are a little softer uh, they're still quality steel but they're a little bit softer than what you're going to find in some of their competitors as well but they hold up very well and they're easy to sharpen up Next tool over is going to be your combo tool. This has uh, your, these are done in metric and I don't remember what the actual size is. I think this is the, the two and a half millimeter screwdriver. And then you have your can opener. The next tool is the Phillips driver. This is a combo number one, number two driver. It gives you about an inch and a half, inch and a half of reach and it fits well in this tool. And the fact that this tool actually sits a little higher than the other, so they're able to broaden that out just a bit. And then the next one is, this might be the two millimeter screwdriver. I really can't remember, and I'm not the greatest with metric, so I apologize to all those around the world who, uh, who are. We're accustomed to SAE measurements here in the States. The next tool is one that most people are gonna like, uh, in a multi-purpose tool like this and that is a pair of scissors now on the spirit models they do the scissors a little bit differently you'll notice it doesn't have the spring that you're going to find in fact i'll just bring one in here i got one here on the table so 
It doesn't do the spring like you're going to find in the uh, 90 one millimeter knives. Uh, I really wish that they could get this in there, but it's a little bit too long for the profile of this tool. And so this is something that I, I wish they just could have downsized this just a little bit, but they opted for a completely different style of scissors. Now the scissors work incredibly well. All Victorinox scissors do. I'm sure you guys have seen many, many demonstrations of those scissors. They really work fantastically. I just wish that this was a little broader, uh, would open up a little bit wider. As it is, it's good for cutting on uh, stuff like paracord, on threads, on your clothing. Uh, you can get through paper and cardboard fairly easily, but because it doesn't open up quite as wide as some other competitor scissors or some of their own Victorinox scissors, uh, it's going to be limited uh, when, it, when comparing it to those other tools. Now, you'll notice on the catch mechanism, the catch mechanism on these is really easy to operate too. So as you got the tool, your tool open, you just kind of, on each side you have two tabs and they just, you just slide them back towards you and it's really, really easy to close. Next tool is going to be the saw blade. Now, the saw blades on Victorinoxes are really good. Um, I think the Leatherman might be just a slight touch better, but that's not to take anything away from Victorinox saws because they really bite in hard when cutting through wood and uh, they do a fabulous job. The next tool is going to be one of my favorites that comes on the Spirit models, and this is a, a really a combo tool. So this is your chisel, has another uh, grind profile here on the tip there that can be used as a, as a side cutter it also i think they call this their cable cutter so it works in combination with this other tool but this also works well as a package opener as well uh, really cuts through those clamshells with that little chisel tip on there the next tool is your cable cutter now this is a tool that i actually made let me just bring it out here real quick and the inspiration for me making this was actually off of the spirit models so in my leatherman super surge which I'll leave a link to the playlist right here if you're interested in it. I actually profiled in a cable cutter as well because I do a decent amount of electrical work, especially when it comes to uh, replacing ends on extension cords and stuff of that nature. And having that curved blade is really, it really makes that task very, very easy. So the idea behind these two tools together is you will cut around the sheathing of a cable and then you can use the chisel tip here in order to slice that, that jacketing lengthwise and very easily remove that, uh, that jacketing off the cable. It's a very, very good concept. I really like how they did this with this, uh, with this particular tool. And then the last one is a little V cutter for your, uh, smaller cable, uh, smaller diameter stuff like a 10, 12, 14, 16 gauge, uh, stranded wire or solid wire so it works fairly well it's it's a little bit awkward to use this when comparing it to leatherman tools in the fashion that i use them but it's still plenty sharp and works very very well now the next one is going to be uh, also a bit of a combination tool so this is your large flat driver also works as a pry tool and i think they call this a crate opener now I don't really understand the nomenclature there, why they would call it a crate opener, unless it's maybe crates like milk crates or something. The old wooden ones are put together with staples or something. This might be good to, to reach up underneath those. Uh, it doesn't really work great as a, as a big pry bar, but uh, nonetheless. The next one is their can opener, or excuse me, bottle cap lifter, and this is this works really well because it is quite wide there, and so it grabs onto the tops of bottle caps very easily. The next tool over is one that I really don't use that often, and that is their uh, what they call their cable bender or wire bender. Um, I've never used it. Maybe you guys have and have some experience using it. I always found it easier just to use the tip of the pliers in order to do a smaller wire bending task because you got a lot more leverage. But nonetheless, they have that tool in there as well. And then next one over is going to be the awl. The, the reamer awl on here has a very fine point on it. 
and the profile on the on the grind here works extremely well. I actually like this all a little bit better than the one that I even have on my Leatherman Surge. I think this one uh, performs faster and just it's it's just a better all. Uh, I don't necessarily need. I don't ever see myself doing any uh, sewing task. Uh, so while that's a nice feature to have, this one does not have the sewing eyelet. And then this tool is another tool that's kind of a staple with uh, Victorinox. So if you have a knife, if you have a 91 millimeter that has the scissors on it directly opposite that, you have a the hook, the all-purpose hook. And especially in the 91 millimeters, this is really great because it gives you kind of a T-handle there. So if you're grabbing onto something, it, it gives you a nice surface to grab on. This one, however is in line now you can open this up and get you a bit more grab like this uh, this is not one that i've ever used but it doesn't mean that it wouldn't be useful to someone at some point down the line and then the last tool they have is their this is their metal saw and their file so you have the cross cut uh, file on this side or excuse me the single cut file on this side the cross cut file on this side and then the teeth pattern on that metal saw is actually sharp enough that you can cut through steel with that now you can't cut through massive amounts of steel and this is a wear tool that if you're going to use it in that fashion uh it's going to wear out fairly quickly but if you have any instance where you need to cut through a small rod or nail or something like that you can actually get it accomplished with this tool not a task that i would do often but it's nice to know that it's on the tool itself and then we get it opened up this is great about the spirit models too. You notice that in the handles, they kind of curve back and this is a really slender profile too. So it's very comfortable to use. And one thing that I was kind of worried about a little bit is whether or not the clip was going to uh, provide or be a little bit of a hot spot with this, but I have found it to be quite comfortable. They did a really nice job on integrating that clip. So the pliers on the Victorinox, I like a lot with the exception of one thing. So the first thing is, and this is the great thing about the quality of Victorinox stuff, is that they operate butter smooth right out of the factory. Now with a Leatherman, and especially it seems as of late, uh, their quality control hasn't been the greatest. Now a Leatherman will break in quite nicely and give you that same action, but it takes a little while sometimes. I've had some that came out of the factory really, the pliers were really stiff, then I've had some that came out that were really smooth right out of the gate. But it seems that Victorinox always gets this right. And that's one of the great things about their pliers. Now, you'll notice that the tip on here is not quite a needle nose. So it's it's more of a more of a combination plier. And I actually rather like it. In fact, if they were to close this off and make it and leave it that tip further back and make it a more of a even more of a blunt nose i wouldn't have a problem with that either in the spirit models I, I think i like it better with the smaller tip up front in their swiss tool models that's one that i wish they might drop back make it a little bit more blunt blunt nose give themselves a little bit more room for the internal tooling and have a very robust set of pliers so it has your modified needle nose, which have very nice teeth on them. Those are ground in there extremely well. Your regular pliers. And then the one thing that I don't really care for on the Victorinox, and you'll see that it has two different notches. So the bottom notch there can be used for hard wire cutting. And the upper notch, I guess they have this set so that you can use it for... Uh, the idea is you trap the wire in there so it won't kind of slip out when you're when you're cutting through something a little bit more solid. Uh, personally, I would rather see that second notch left out and they just leave the cutters themselves. Now, unlike Leatherman, these are going to be integrated into their into the into the pliers themselves as opposed to having replaceable cutters that if you damage them you can easily swap them out that being said though the cutters on here do operate very well and i've never really had a problem with leatherman's old style that didn't have the replaceable cutters or victorinox uh pliers either from damaging the cutters of course I kind of know the limitations of what a multi-tool can do. And so I, I often will go get the proper tool when I have a really heavy duty task that needs to be performed. Apart from that, uh, everything else about the pliers, I really like, and you'll notice that 
One thing that Victorinox says, and I I don't know that this is true one way or another, but they, they hinge their pliers in the opposite direction of what you're going to find in in other models, in, including what they used to do. So they actually switched the orientation. So I'll get my surge out here. And you can see that they swing open in the opposite direction. And the idea behind this is that uh, when you are... I guess when you're loosening a fastener that it makes the jaw stronger or less apt to slip on you. I don't really know that that's uh, true. Uh, it may very well be. And some people live and die by that. They say that's one of the, the highlights of Victorinox. I don't think it's really any difference personally. So this is the Victorinox MX clip. Now let's talk a little bit about how this compares to the Leatherman Wave. Now, I've been asked by a lot of people to compare the different Swiss Tool Spirit models to the Leatherman Wave. And honestly, I'll tell you the, the truth about this. I've been a little reluctant to do this because I know where my biases lie. Now, that's not to say that I don't like both tools. I think Victorinox and Leatherman plier-based multi-tools are the two best brands on the market, bar none. In fact, there's a lot of advantages that the Spirit models have over the Wave, and I also feel the, feel that there are some advantages that the Wave has over the Victorinox Spirit models. But things got a lot closer because my number one bias towards Victorinox when it came to comparing the different models was the one-handed opening blade. And now that that issue is corrected, uh, that is a huge, huge plus. Now, they originally came out this with this about a year ago with the MXBS, which I was able to get my hands on pretty early. And now those, those are available to the general public. So I have the MXBX at home in my collection, which we're going to be bringing out and highlighting again. Uh, but when I get home, one of the things on my list to do is to now finally put the Victorinox Swiss Tool Spirits head-to-head -head with the Leatherman Wave, and I think the, the competition got a lot closer, at least in my opinion. Now, I'm not here to say what's best for you. That's what you have to decide for yourself, but I know where my personal biases lead me, and that one-handed opening blade is a huge, huge thing for me. So that's one of two. But by adding the clip, something that has long, long, long been missing from the Spirit models. This is great in many, many ways because a lot of people like to um, pocket carry these 4-inch tools and smaller. Where when you get into tools like I carry, like uh, if, if I didn't carry the Surge, I'd probably carry the Swiss tool. Uh, they're a lot beefier, a lot larger, a lot more unwieldy in the pocket, if you will. And I think that they should be sheath carried. Well, at least that's how I feel. Uh, my personal opinion is I would never carry it on a clip. And so it doesn't bother me that the clip for the Leatherman doesn't, uh, that's built for the wave doesn't really fit that well in the surge because I don't use it anyway. But with a model like this, and especially considering the, sl the slimness, the sleekness of this, uh, of the spirit models, I think it really bodes well, and it's something that I wish they would have done years ago. But I'm grateful that they've done it now. This would be, for me personally, a very awesome light duty tool to carry uh, on days when when I'm not on the job site. So for just running around town, uh, just around the house, uh, this is this is a very full functioning multi-tool with 23 different functions. 24 of you include the clip is what they do, but 23 different functions on this. No extra tools to carry around, no extra bits, uh, anything to get lost. Now you can add do add-ons for the Victorinox, which uh, include some of that stuff, but th this is going to fare a lot better against the Wave now. And there's just little nuanced things. And when we get into that video, I'll really go through in detail uh, the what I see as the advantages and disadvantages to each one but this particular multi-tool uh, with the clip on it with a one-handed opening blade I think Victorinox really changed the game here and the competition against Leatherman got a lot stiffer now Leatherman has been uh, to their credit coming out with the Leatherman Garage they have been trying to it seems like they're going to try to push the envelope a little bit 
I don't know what more they can do. Well, I have ideas, obviously, but it's kind of come to the point where we're reaching the limitations of what a multi-tool can do unless you go into specialized multi-tools. That's not to say that they couldn't improve upon them. Uh, I'm just saying that uh, they're reaching their limits in, in some aspects. But this particular multi-tool, if you get your hands on this, and honestly, I saw this the day it came out, and I thought, I'll wait a couple of days and I'll pick one up. Boy, was that a mistake, because these things sold out in rapid fashion, and the separate clips as well were gone almost instantly. Like 24 hours later, I went back, I think it was 48 actually, I went back to order one and everything was sold out. So... I was lucky to get my hands on this one. I didn't actually get this off the Victorinox site. I got this off DLT Trading, which had one in stock. Uh, and so I was pretty fortunate to, to uh, acquire this one. This is a great, great tool. Um, all the Victorinox line are great tools. But the addition of the clip now being able to be included in and, and used on all the previous Swiss tools. They have one particular for the Swiss tool and they have another one for the Spirits. Uh, that is, to me, one of the best things that they did because, like I said before, instead of making it so that it had a different frame or a different orientation for their clip that could only be used on the newer models and up, they went retroactive, and I think that is a huge, huge positive, and I'm grateful for Victorinox, uh, to Victorinox for doing that. This is the Victorinox MX Clip, a fantastic multi-tool uh, that would get a lot of stuff done. I really like this one. My name is Ben. You've been watching the Texas Tool Crib. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next one.